Good morning. It's a Tuesday and I've woken up at 6.30 a.m. Although we are in the middle of a lockdown, but thankfully as a research student, I'm allowed to go into the lab and I have picked up an 8 a.m. shift because I prefer the morning shifts. It just gives me the sense of having the rest of the day to myself as we cannot work the complete hours or be in the lab all day at the moment. We only have to pick certain slots and I have picked the 8 a.m. slot. So I'll be heading out shortly, but first I need to have my tea because the desi in me does not wake up unless I have a hot strong cup of tea. So I'll just have my tea and then head out to the lab. My commute to the lab is really really long but it is definitely very exciting. I enjoy it a lot. There's a lot of pretty stuff to see along the way. I immediately get down to work. Once I have my bacterial cells all transformed and in the incubator, I decide to go down and check on the autoclaving. But efficient as I am, I manage to put cuts on my own hand instead of the autoclave tape. So, well done Manu. I then head down the road to drop off some sequencing samples for my colleague. Because I'm such a nice person, I offer to do it. Or at least I like to think I'm a nice person. Once back in the lab, I get down to some reading and try to find a paper that I would be presenting next week. I also send a quick email to the facilities asking for a new lab notebook, which they kindly deliver within an hour. On my workbench, I find that my cleaning log has been left with a cute note from one of my colleagues, so I saw hello to them, and then after cleaning my bench and finishing off work, I head back home, and again, it's the long, beautiful community.
but I decide to walk halfway through it so that I can enjoy the beauty of Oxford and also finish the daily steps that I should be doing. I have a long target of completing a lot of steps during the day. It's going to be a long walk, but it's going to be exciting. Once back home, I first go down to the mail room to see if I have got any mail, but obviously not. My life isn't that exciting. Hello, I'm now back home. It's 11.45 a.m. and I'm done with the day. I mean, I've already been to the lab. I've done the basic stuff I needed to do. It wasn't much, but it's a lockdown. That's all we can do. I could technically book more shifts but one must not be greedy because there are a lot of people in our lab and we need to space out our experiments. But yeah, it's the perk of waking up at 6.30 a.m. You're done for the day by 11.30 and back home. So I'm going to head into the shower, sort myself, call my mom and then get back to reading some stuff because let's be honest, I can still read from home. So yeah, I'll see you. I thank myself for having prepared the meal yesterday so that today I don't have to cook and I watch a little bit of Prisoner of Azkaban with my meal. I have been watching this movie since the last two days in bits and pieces. I'm hoping I will complete it with dinner tonight. Since I last picked my phone, I have had a shower, had my lunch, talked to my mom and cleaned up. So it's 2.30 p.m. now and I am supposed to get back to reading because I have to present next week in my lab's journal club. We do this every Wednesday where one of us presents. So my turn is coming up next week. I need to read a paper that I will be presenting. I printed it off this morning when I was in the lab. So now I need to get started with it and... Also because I do want to know that I've picked the correct paper. If I can't understand it myself, then we're in trouble. So I have to start reading it. And I've also booked a workshop for myself for 4 p.m., which is from the Oxford Foundry, where they teach sort of design thinking and entrepreneurship. I thought I would enjoy design thinking, and I booked a workshop for myself. But the thing is, they still haven't sent me the Zoom link to join the workshop. I've sent a reminder but it's already 2.30 p.m. and the workshop is supposed to start in an hour or so and yeah we'll find out if I get to join the workshop or not. Meanwhile I think before I start reading I need another dose of tea because it's been many hours since I last had tea and I can't function without it. So yeah I'll grab some tea and get to reading. Meanwhile fingers crossed for the workshop so Hello, I've managed to gain access to the workshop. It's going to begin shortly. I've done reading for an hour with a 5-10 minutes break in between and I'm going to enter the workshop. It's supposed to last for an hour and a half. So yeah, I'll be free by 5.30 from it. Let's hope it's good because the content they've given us so far or the information present on the website, it seems really interesting. And it's supposed to be four modules for four weeks every Tuesday. 
but I'll see how the first one goes and then decide whether I want to sign up for the next ones. So yeah, let's see how it goes. I will keep you posted. It's 5.20 p.m. I've just finished with the workshop that I was supposed to be attending. It was quite interesting. It was cut short because the person delivering it had another call scheduled. Which was a bit sad because towards the end he was a bit rushed and yeah pushed for time but that was okay because it was interactive and i gained some new insights because i've never thought about design thinking or anything business related before so it was something totally new for me but interesting at the same time so i think i will be attending the next few sessions which are to run on the same time for the next two or three weeks the good thing is that they will be sending us a few recordings if we want to explore it further and possibly a few reading resources as well. So the workshop was mainly conducted by IBM and the person delivering it was Rudy Sellers who's an associate partner there and he has like a ton of knowledge about how to generate ideas, how to steal ideas from nature that is you do not have to reinvent ideas all the time but how do you think of a product not just in terms of designing that product but about its outcome and user interface so although it wasn't directly related to what i do it helped me sort of think about creativity how do you generate ideas how do you think about any product or anything that you're trying to create which was good so I think I'm going to stick to attending these because not only is it something I found interesting, but I realized that because I have a workshop scheduled, I did not quite feel the afternoon slump which usually comes by, although I woke up quite early today, but it's it feels good to have attended that workshop. So I think now I am going to do a bit more of reading, but it might be just a very short read as I'm now starting to feel tired i only slept for four hours last night so yeah i will just read for a bit now and then probably have my dinner let's see my dinner tonight is a cheeky leftover nando's which has been sitting in my fridge since the last two days and again i'm enjoying it with the last bit of prisoner of azkaban which i think i will finish off now One thing that happened today is that the Wolfson Welfare Community has set up a sort of fitness challenge which I signed up to as well because yeah I need to work on my fitness and the thing is that you're allowed to do any type of exercise or activity that you feel like and you just report it in a log sheet that the entire college is using. What intrigued me is I just put in my walk for today which was about 45 minutes to walk along with my commute and everything. But by 7 p.m., people have already reported that they have walked, cycled, went for a run. I don't know. How do you do that? How? Is it possible to do all that in one day? I mean, I know there might be some people who are fitness freaks, but how do you do a 60-minute walk, a 50-minute cycling, and a 5-kilometer run all in one day by 7 p.m.? I just do not get it. Unless people are just not being honest because... I'm being very honest about it and I am going to do a few stretches because I suffer from chronic back pain and I need to be doing those but it doesn't make sense. I can't think of someone doing a 5 kilometer run and a 60 minute cycling and 50 minute walk all in one day. I can't. I can't. People please be honest. <laughs> I mean to someone like me who's just starting on the fitness road. I don't want to compare myself to anyone because I know people are much, much fitter than I am. But I think there's a touch of dishonesty here. It just doesn't work in my head. No, no. 
I log into my diary and write everything I have done today. It's a daily ritual and then I also quickly take a look on my passion planner to see if I am up to date with everything I need to be doing tomorrow. It's 8.30 p.m. now and I'm really, really tired. I have to wake up early tomorrow as well because I have again booked an 8 a.m. shift. So that means I will have to wake up by 6.30. Uh, I feel really tired by now. I've done a bit of reading, just two paragraphs. But yeah, I think I've done enough for today. So yeah, back to an early start for the lab tomorrow. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed please consider subscribing and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye